What's up everybody? We are back at Bradenton Motorsports Park. Finally gonna do some testing with Moonshine. Tried to Monday, didn't work out. I was gonna come down Thursday, didn't work out. So now we're here Sunday, we got a private rental going on. Uh, it's a little foggy out, but they're dragging the track, getting ready to spray. The air is good. The track's probably really tight. It's not super hot out, there's no sun on the track. So what we're gonna try and do is go faster than 60 foot. That's really all I care about. If I see a 1-0 anything, I will probably run it out the back just to get a new PB, but we're gonna try and go deep into the 60 foot with this thing, that's the goal for today. So I'll be making 60 foot rips, and then, like I said, if it goes 1-0 something, then I'll run it out, but that's what we're trying to get to. I gotta get the laptop up, make a little non-boost ramp tune is what I'm going for here. So we're gonna probably leave on about 15 pounds, and then I'm just gonna shut the gates and go as fast as we can to 35 pounds and see how fast we can go to 60 foot. All right, guys, about to make our first lick, got a spicy, spicy 60 foot in it. So I think. So we'll see what it does. The air is pretty dang good right now. Sun has not been on the track, so let's see if we can't get this thing to go 10 something 60 foot. That would be ideal. I don't know if they have it up on the board though, so I might just run it to the 330. Because we kind of have an idea what the back split is, so see what it does. See how it feels. If it feels good, I might just run it out. Because it'll go PB. That two numbers faster than a win last time out, but uh, only one number faster. But uh, one sixteen last time at one fifteen eighty yeah. four seventy. Not one fifty. Not bad. Not bad at all. Pulled the shoot on that one. She was a little hairy. I know I said I was gonna go sixty foot, but I couldn't help myself. So, <laughs> oh man, I love this car now. You know what sucks is I got some. uh Premix or not premix, some top end lube, and apparently I set it in here, and it's all over my helmet. So all I smell is whatever grape, <laughs> whatever grape scent that is, is all over my helmet. So we'll have to clean that up. So, let's uh, put the shoot in here. Go see what it brings. Still sketchy on the big end. Well, bounce you up there, bud, huh? Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> Ideal. Back to the drawing board. 
All right, guys, so did not do what I was hoping for. So I know it's hard to see, but this green line right here is my target dome. So on the brake, we had 15, first sell 15. And then when I let off the brake, it went straight up, but it, the boost, you can see it still dipped and took a little bit. So I'm gonna have to hit it with more boost. I'm gonna leave the same ramp in it and just hit it with a little bit more RPM, a little bit more boost on the starting line. See if it doesn't light a little quicker. We're gonna tighten up the suspension a little bit just in case that boost comes in hard. It doesn't try to wheelie. Soon as that it like I don't know if it made the transition, but it literally just went. And yeah, I, like, I saw that right, on the top end. Gonna stay in it at this point. It goes fast to the 60 foot, so we can hit it a little harder. I gotta see what it was doing on the trans brake because it was being a little bit weird. So we'll get it cooled back off. I mean, we got all day out here, so we'll just chip away at it a little bit at a time. All right, guys. So I figured a few things out in the tune uh, with the dome sensor, not the dome sensor, but actual dome pressure it was actually kind of coming up slow. So I went ahead and read it. All the pit settings got it to come up like real quick and hold. So we're gonna do that. A couple more pounds on the leave, a couple hundred RPM, same boost ramp. A little bit of timing under the curve, just trying to get it to light the turbo a little bit faster. So it's either gonna go real fast here or spin and we can work off of it either way it goes. So let's see what happens. All right guys, same boost ramp, more on the leave. See if the track will hold it. They just scraped it, sprayed it. Feels pretty tight. You want to go over to the right again? Um, I don't know if you need to move me over that ball. They they pretty much got that ball spot taken care of. So just get make sure I'm straight is all. I'm gonna make sure I don't get stuck to the track. That's yeah, do that. Rip your bands off. Fucking band here already. Did it. I gotta like. <laughs>
ain't all the way there, but we're better. Oh, that's I'm dude. Ah! 463 and 151. It felt a little a little bit better out the back. Look at that. It didn't sound as bad on the lifting at the eighth one is 764. At the 463, yeah. Yeah, and so it's one of them that you coasted with 764. Oh my god, I don't know what more I gotta do with this thing. I gotta see where the boost was when I left, but uh, yeah, it was, doing, it was fine on the two step. Then I get up there, it does that. That's why I do it. It's yeah. old moonshine for you, you know? It is what it is, but definitely an improvement. We were almost there. If we can get this thing to go 1060 foot, it will do it. I don't know how much time we got left today, but we're gonna, if we got time, we're gonna cool this thing off, look over the data, and we're trying to go 450 today. 450s and in the eighth is like a six second quarter. So this car's pretty fast. All right guys, so that was a little bit better. Uh, 4,800 on the leave at about 20-ish pounds. So I'm gonna put a little bit more boost into it, same leave RPM. And I'm gonna put a little bit more dome all the way down the track, but a it should help earlier so on the trans brake i'm going to put a little more dome that i actually need to try to keep it from dipping because there's a dip as soon as i let go of the button the boost kind of dips a little bit so i'm going to just put a little bit more there and try to get rid of that not really how i normally do stuff but this thing's kind of being tricky with the first gear and everything I'm trying to get the turbo to light like really fast so that one saw 35 pounds at 0.73 seconds which is pretty fast but we need it a little bit quicker it'll flash the converter a little bit harder it should get us that 60 foot that we're looking for suspension is working absolutely flawlessly uh, it was a little bit better on the back end um, in high gear so instead of a 163 almost 164 back split we want a 161 so it did feel a little bit bigger better up top uh, we just probably need a little bit of maybe a little bit of weight and a wing in it for sure will be fine so shout out to tj getting that suspension all done up getting us a good chassis to work with so this thing hasn't even tried a wheelie one time so it's really it's working really well we just need a little bit more in the 60 foot all right guys so a little bit more boost a little bit more boost on the leave let's see if we can't go 450 good <laughs> What do you think? 61. We puked some tranny fluid out. Yeah! Oh, <laughs> God dang! <laughs> oh, hell yeah. 10760 foot, 296, 456. Shoo! Hell yeah. Ah. Me like hey, hey, take take a look at the what they put for the car number. <laughs> Where is it at? Top. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. Ah. I grabbed the scramble also. <laughs> <laughs> it was riding and I'm like, no. Nah! <laughs> dude, I let all, there's tranny fluid somewhere. It's gotta be. Like the yeah, car. Right. The whole car started filling up with smoke. I was like, uh-oh, that's not good. <laughs> hey, it's riding, man. It didn't take that initial hit, but I was like, eh, it planted the tire. I felt it plant. I'm like, it'll take that. We just need to get in some fluid. That's what we did, and it went 456. Hell 456 yeah. at 102 or 152, which mile an hour is still down, but it's yeah. still, it was. So we can definitely improve upon that. I think we can get 40s out of this car for sure. We just keep chipping away at it. But one day we've got to drop. Yeah. You know, we went 
from a 472 PB down to a 456 today testing. And that's why we test. And the car's still running. We're gonna load it back up on the trailer. We're gonna go home. We're gonna eat some good food. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right guys, data log looking a whole lot better. It's kind of hard to see. Oh, it's better. So you can see it did exactly what I've been trying to get it to do. Go up and kind of like roll, go out, shift, do exactly what it's supposed to do. You can still see in high gear though, the thing was just wah, 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 wah. So there's still some left in it. We want a 56. I don't see why we probably should. I mean, this thing should be able to go 40s. Uh, we'll just, we'll have to keep, you know, playing with it and getting it to do stuff. But I'm fully confident we can probably get this thing to go into the 440 range in the eighth mile. All right, guys, we got old Moonshine loaded up. We're ready to rock. Ready to live another day. We're gonna go home, do some minor maintenance on it. And uh, yeah, I don't know what the next event is, but I'm super pumped. That was a lot of fun today. A lot of good data. Finally getting this thing figured out. So definitely gonna improve upon what we've just done, which is exciting. So we're gonna end the video off there. I appreciate you guys watching. As always, stay tuned and we'll see you in the next episode.